spreading some snow in Chicago, upper uh, Midwest, and then uh, heading this way. And when you say heading this way, we're going to see some accumulations? Well, I think uh, we will see some flakes, and uh, there'll be some <laughs> snow on the ground. How much still to be de determined? You want to check with your uh, northeastern NBC affiliate, for example, Janice Huff here in New York, and other folks. Uh, You're hedging your bets, you? bet you. John Belaris down in Philadelphia. Okay, yeah. thanks very much. Back inside the studio, I'm Matt Lauer, along with Katie Kirk and Al Roker. And coming up in this half hour, the dot-com craze. You may have noticed those new commercials featuring the former captain of the Starship Enterprise taking on a new frontier, the Internet. William Shatner will be along to tell us about his new career as an online pitch man. And we'll find out what an internet marketing company is offering the small town of Halfway, Oregon to get, its, to get it to change its name to Half.com. Town leaders are expected to make the final decision today. We'll be talking with the mayor. Before we get to that, 731, let's head back over to the news desk and say good morning again to Ann. And good morning again to you, Matt, Katie, and Al, and to all of you this morning. That's your latest weather. Now let's go back inside the cave. Okay, Al, thank you. Later today, the city council in Halfway, Oregon, is expected to vote to change the town's name to Half.com, becoming the nation's first dot-com city. Mayor Dick Crow is at City Hall in the soon-to-be renamed town, and Joshua Koppelman, president of the company Half.com is the man behind the idea for the change. Good morning to both of you. Good morning, morning Katie. Katie. Joshua, let me start with you. This sounds like a shameless publicity stunt, and obviously we bit. Is that what it is? <laughs> did we do it to get attention? Sure we did. But we also think it's a great partnership which could provide benefits to both the town and the company. Well, let's backtrack for a moment, Joshua. Tell me about this website. What is it? Sure. Half.com is a brand new website that connects buyers and sellers of previously owned books, CDs, movies, and videos. Imagine if you can get half your money back whenever you're finished reading a book or your kids are finished watching a video. And imagine if the next time you wanted to buy a video or a CD or a DVD, you could pay half price. That's what we do. We connect buyers and sellers at half price. Well, you're a good pitch man. How did you find Halfway Oregon? Well, we actually found it over the internet. We were looking for cities that began with the, with the letters with the half. And there are about 40 of them, and we ended up in Halfway, Oregon. So, Mayor Crow, what was your reaction when you first heard about the suggestion to change the name of your town to Half.com? Well, I was a little bit surprised when they uh, approached us, and it took a little while for us to get the idea, but uh, so far it's been working great. So it took you a little while to get the idea. So what, what sold you on it, Mr. Mayor? Well, I'm, I'm, personally, I'm pretty much in favor of it. Why? Uh, uh, I think it's, uh, it's an opportunity for the town to get its name on the map, which I think it has, and uh, to partner with uh, Half.com and the fine people that's there. I know, Mayor Crow, that there was a meeting last night to, to get people's opinions, I guess one final chance for get them to get, allow them actually to voice their opinions on this. What were people saying in the town? Oh, they was a little upset about some of them about changing the name, but most of them were in favor of it, and uh, the meeting went well. We should point out, Mayor Crow, that you're not really changing the name uh, forever. This is just a, a, a one-year deal, is that right? Yeah, it's by proclamation only, Katie, and uh, to change the name legally, it uh, takes a three- or four-year process and, and quite a bit of money. So might you end up changing the name legally if things work out? Well, I'm sure they're going to work out. Uh, I don't think it'll ever be changed permanently. No. Joshua, tell me what kind of incentives and what kind of benefits you've offered the, the townspeople in order to convince them that this was in their interest. Sure. Well, we put together a pretty good package. We've provided them with computers, 20 computers for the schools. We've built the town a website to help promote the town. Um, we've put together some funds for economic development. But more importantly, we've even created some jobs and have begun to hire some of the residents of Halfway, Oregon. I don't want to be, burst your bubble, but what if your company goes belly up? Does that mean all the benefits you promised will vanish into thin air? Well, we're providing them with a contract so they have that level of guarantee and assurances. All right, and you, you will be employing some of the locals in your company? Yes, we are. We've already begun to. Which is exciting. Mayor Crow, um, how do you feel about the increased exposure and publicity this might give your town? Well, I think it's been great. You know, I've been having a lot of fun with it. Uh, <laughs> it's... Uh, it's been interesting. And you've got to put up new street signs next to the old, ne I guess, new signs up that say well, half.com next to the old ones. Is that right? Yeah, we'll probably put up some signs. They probably won't be right next to them, but they'll be close to them. All right. Well, and they'll be on, there'll be some signs on some buildings around town. Well, Dick Crow, mayor of half.com, Oregon, and Joshua Koppelman, thanks so much for talking with us. Good luck with your venture. Thanks, well, Katie. Thank you, Katie.
It is 748. Up next, actor William Shatner is here to tell us about his new career as Internet Pitchman. And later, we wrap up our special series, Eat Smart Today, with a look at green leafy vegetables. But first, these messages.